Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is Staff Gymnasium, home of the Brockton Boxers, and today it is the latest round of the Martin Luther King Day charity game between the Holbrook Bulldogs and your Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside Chris Bazile. Chris, this game not expected to be too, too competitive with the Division 5 Holbrook Bulldogs coming to town to face the 15th ranked team in the state in Division One, the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be as competitive due to due to that factor. But don't but don't underestimate the Bulldogs. They're nine and one, and and, they, and they're coming here to play. They're coming here to play. Mayor Louis Charles right off the bat with a three. Now it is number four, Jeremiah King for three on the other side. No good. Louis Charles rips down the rebound. Louis Charles over to Sonny Oak and Lola. He takes a three from the top of the key. No good. Offensive board for Tony Robinson. Rather, that was number 23, Tajan Silva, who had a huge game against Bridgewater Random the other night. Offensive board for the Bulldogs and a long two for Jeremiah King. This is Tony Robinson for the boxes. Handing off to Marquise Dos Santos. Dos Santos loses it. And King taps it out of bounds. Yeah, the, yeah, the Brockton Boxers, they're coming off an eight-point loss against Bridgewater Rainham. And one of the reasons of that loss was just their rebounding. They just had trouble boxing out. Let's see what they can do here against a, a much more smaller Bulldog team. Tijan Silva for three, no good. Dos Santos offensive board back to Silva. Dos Silva crashing the boards. His shot doesn't fall. King with the rebound. And the undersized point guard draws the foul. So it's Robinson called for the block. Jeremiah, one. And everybody, run two. Two. Two out of bounds. Two. Two. Set it aside. Two. I'm going to say out of play off of the boxers, so Holbrook retains possession. This is number 12, Marcus Spencer inbounding. He gets it to Markin Legentis. King fakes three and fakes it again and called for the double dribble. It seems like the Holbrook offense is just running through Jeremiah King early on. Let's see who else they could let's see who else they could probably facilitate the offense. Silva into Tony Robinson a minute 30 into this game. Three to two the score, Brockton on top. Robinson out to Louis Charles and that careens out of bounds. King goes all the way in off the glass. No good. Rebound to Oak and Lola. He's trying to find Robinson on the Hail Mary. Robinson keeps it in bounds momentarily before it is knocked out. And the score remains 3 to 2. Here's Mark and Legentis over to King. King travels with it, not called, and he hits a long two. Yeah, the boxers are going to have to do a, a better job containing him. Maybe maybe a double team him a bit. Louis Charles, three. Bang. And the boxers back in the lead, six to four. 540 left in the first quarter. Another clutch three for Louis Charles. He's showing up big so far. He's accounted for all six boxer points thus far. King now long two is good. You can kind of tell Brockton, not that they're playing down to their opponent, but they're starting off very, very slow. Tony Robinson now driving the lane off the glass and in. Can you tell me something new, Matt? That's that's <laughs> pretty much been the whole season for the Brockton Boxers. They start off slow, then somewhere Arizona, around the second quarter, they, they spark. And let's see where that spark comes. As we always, as I always said, Zendin Carrera off the bench. He's a huge spark plug. Let's see, let's see what he could does. Let's see what he does once he's get on the once he gets on the floor. Jeremiah King feeling it now. He just hit a three to give the Bulldogs back the lead. Nine to eight, four forty-five left to go, and a travel called on Tony Robinson.
This is also not the starting lineup we would have seen if this was, we'll call it a, a regular game. Dos Santos coming up with a steal. Now Oaken Lola, his floater no good, didn't get enough on it to get over the rim. Now off the glass and in on the putback. Yeah, Oaken Lola. Oaken Lola. He's gonna get his early, and, and he's gonna be he's gonna be a fright, he's gonna be a frightening terror for the rest of this game. A couple of injuries for the boxers. A long three, no good for Legentis. The injuries. Navon Reed with a broken pinky. He's out till the first week of February. That happened in the game against New Bedford. Louis Charles along two. And that puts the boxers up by three. The other injury, Zendin Correa. And he is out with, quote, a lower body injury. Reevaluated in a couple of weeks. Robinson to Louis Charles. Louis Charles driving baseline, floater no good, but he's fouled on the way in. And we'll have a couple of shots. I call on Marcus Spencer for the block. Chris, I think the key for the boxers is to, I don't know whether you call a double team on Jeremiah King or just stick your number one defender, Sonny Oak and Lola on him. Shut down King and it looks like you shut down the entire Bulldogs offense. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much what I said. If they shut him down, I think I think the boxers could, could, could go out to an insurmountable lead. And let's see what DeSantos do, does on him. I, I love the I love the idea of double teaming him though. I don't see much I don't see much um, excitement from the other offense the offensive players that they have. This is Oni. I'm gonna try it once. Oni Emekem Wokeji. Apologies for the butchered name. And Okan Lola with the block. Wholesale changes for the boxers. Diamond Blakely, Josiah Davis, Noah Olawu, and number 20, Trenton Biddle, all into the game for the boxers. Sonny Oak and Lola, the lone starter remaining on the floor as there's a shot clock violation on the Bulldogs. This is actually my first time seeing Noah Olowu, first time in action. Let's see what he does. It's Diamond Blakely turning it over. Spencer coming up with the steal on the other side. And Zach Duzan comes in replacing number 23, Rasai Banks Lee. Diamond Blakely, the younger brother of boxer standout Jalen Blakely from a few years ago. Fiddle inside for Oaken Lola. Oaken Lola strong. A little bit too strong off the basket. And a foul is going to be called on Oaken Lola for the hold. Two and a half to go in the first quarter, 13 to 11. An underwhelming affair thus far, and coming up with the steal off of the inbounds pass was number 31, Noah Oluwu, and he makes no mistake on the layup. Brockton working the full court press. Smart play by Oluwu. Blakely coming, almost coming up with another steal, and he does there. Diamond Blakely all the way in, and he's fouled oh. on his way up. Took a hard hit. That's going to go against Marcus Spencer, his second personal foul. Tejan Silva going to come back into the game. Assuming he will replace Oaken Lola as Blakely misses his first attempt.
Blakely 0 for 2 at the line. 15-11, Brockton on top by four. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. This is Jeremiah King. King working his way inside off the glass wow. and in. I'm not, I'm not much of a fan of having Blakely on King. I'm not much of a fan of that. I think, I think, I'll, switch, I think I'll switch that up on defense. I think with the five you have on the floor now, you put Tajan Silva on him. Yeah. It's a hold called on Legentis. That's his first personal. As Olu hits his first attempt. Missed his second, coming down with the rebound, Ahmad Paul. And a timeout called by the Holbrook coach. With a minute 30 even left in the first quarter, 16 to 13, Brockton up by three. Holbrook staying in it, but I'm going to say strictly due to the boxers playing down to the D5 level. Yeah, they are playing down to the D5 level, I think. Um, they got to do a better containment on Jeremiah King. Jeremiah King, expect him to play pretty much the remainder of the game, honestly, for Holbrook to even keep up with Brockton because I, I don't see much from the other players. And Let's see how it turns out. Brockton, Brockton, slow start for Brockton, and they usually, they usually turn it. They turn, they usually turn up, turn up the. They usually um put the plug in around the second quarter. Let's see what they do later on in the game. It's Brockton upset here at Staff Gymnasium on Friday night by the Bridgewater Random Trojans. You mentioned an eight-point loss that Brockton should have won. Is the 15th ranked team in the state. Just got sloppy at times. The full court press. Brockton could not break for the Trojans, and ultimately that was the difference in converting on the forced turnovers. Brockton was not able to do that. Yes. That's what Brockton's been working on in practice. Keep coming, keep coming. Here's King trying to find a lane. Hold called on number 10. That's Diamond Blakely, his first personal. Only inbounding it to Jeremiah King. Now King losing it. Scrum on the floor. King comes away with it. Gets it over to Oni. And Silva coming down with the rebound. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Number 12 with an acrobatic move, move Josiah Davis, the six foot senior. Yeah, Josiah Davis, he's the type of ball player he loves to go. He loves to go for the highlight play sometimes. He, he's a, he adds a little flair to his layups. Only having tremendous trouble making some space. Now an inside bounce pass complete to Jamil Clayton. And he's fouled. That's going to go against Noah Oluwu. Three-point play to get the Bulldogs back within a possession. Now King coming up with the block. Only on the other side, up and in, tie ball game. 18 to 18 with five seconds to go. Brockton will have last shot here. No good, and Holbrook will hold on for the buzzer. 18 to 18 at the end of the first quarter. Who saw a tie game at the end of the first quarter coming? Oh, you can't, can't underestimate your opponent. You can't underestimate your opponent.
So it is 18 to 18. Handful of third stringers in for the boxers alongside Tajan Silva, who got the start today. And we mentioned the injuries to Navon Reed and Zendin Correa. Two big injuries that are both missing from the starting lineup, Chris. Oh yeah, those yeah, those yeah, those are big injuries. Those are actually two of the tallest players on the team. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why they struggle on the boards lately. And let's see let's see how they could um fill the void for those two guys, honestly. Reed six five sophomore. Correa six eight senior. And Seven Correa is the tallest member of the boxers by two inches. Oni thought about the three, instead gives it inside. The layup no good, and fouled on the way back up was Jamil Clayton. Clayton at the line for a couple of shots. No change to the boxer lineup at the quarter break. Yeah, the Holberg defense is doing an outstanding job on this on the boxers. They're not the boxers are not quite getting what they want. The easy bath the, the high percentage shots. Most of the Bosca's points have been low, low, low percentage shots, long range shots. Let's see what they can do. Blakely lost it out of play off of one of the Bulldogs. And the call for the travel is Tajan Silva, who doesn't know exactly what he did. <laughs> Number five, Oni. Out of play, Holbrook ball. This is an extra game added to the schedule. The MIAA actually did something productive and said, You can play an extra game if all the proceeds go to charity. That's really, that's really nice. That's really good. And thus, this game was created. Handful of years ago, Blakely three, no good. The rebound to Trenton Biddle. And he gets blocked. Offensive call here against the Bulldogs. Yeah, Jeremiah King, he's hungry. He's hungry. You can tell he really wants the win. And yeah, and, and he knows he knows this is the this is the bigger batter Brockton team. He wants he really wants a victory here. King just got called for the hold his first personal foul. Biddle three, no good. The rebound to Clayton. Turnover on the other end. A three, good for Noah Olawu. More wholesale changes in the starting lineup coming back in for the boxers as this game. A little bit too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. King lost it, loose ball. King picks it up, double dribble, not called. And now it's going to be a Brockton ball. That's good containment. That's good containment. That's what you got to do to him. Oken Lola, Robinson, Amir Louis, Charles, Dos Santos, and Inubong Epke into the game for the boxers. Epke, the 6'3 junior, getting his first minutes, I believe, of the season. Louis Charles stopping, trying to pop 
Turns it over. King on the other side. Lays it up and in. Tie game at 21. Okanola near the charity stripe. Fouled on his way up. Going to go against for side banks. Lee for a hit on the elbow. Okanola, a very good free throw shooter. Yeah, expect Okanola to try to do that for the remainder of the game. Muscle his way to the paint, bother his defenders, and try to go for some easy close range shots. One of two at the charity start for Okanola. Now a loud block by Okanola on the other side. King for three, no good. Mayor Louis Charles with the rebound. He gets it over to Robinson. Robinson takes a long three. It's going to be off the mark. King comes down with the rebound. Working against Marquis Dos Santos. King along two, no good. Okanola now in the corner. He thought about the three. Now step back three oh. is too long, but out of bounds off of King. Quite the message from Coach Bob Bones. <laughs> oh, God, I hope the Mikes picked that one up. Yeah, Coach, Coach Bone having his player feel it. Louis Charles, a couple bounces off the rim is good. For those who may not have heard that, after Okanola took that three, Bob Bone says, Sonny, stop ball hogging. That's terrible. The whole gym just... Started laughing. Louis Charles, three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Oak and Lola down low, fouled on the way up. It's going to go against Banks Lee. It's his second personal. Next foul on the Bulldogs will put Brockton into a one and one bonus situation. Clayton comes back in. He replaces Banks Lee. And Okanola good from the charity stripe. 26 to 21. Brocking up by five. Exactly halfway through the second quarter. Legentis over to King. A rainbow three. No good for Clayton. Brockton comes down with the rebound. That is Inabong Epke. Now Louis Charles, quick fire three, no good. Oaken Lola with the offensive board, and he's called for the travel. Ooh, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't see a travel. I didn't see, I, I seen more of a hop. What did you see? I saw a couple of Holbrook players hitting Oaken Lola on his way up. King, three, no good. And we can get back to the fundamentals of basketball conversation. A bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> Three good from the corner for Dos Santos and that puts Brockton up 29-21. Have a little bit of mercy on the fundamentals conversation. Unless it happens again. Two fifty-five to go in the second quarter. King with it, working against Dos Santos. Oh, count it and one. Are they saying that Oak and Lola moved his foot, mm. thus creating the block. Oak and Lola comes out. Tajan Silva back in. That looked clean to me. 
I saw exactly what you saw. I'm, I'm, I'm questioning that as well. King three-point play the old-fashioned way. 29-24, 2.45 to go in the first half. Tony Robinson with it now for the boxers. Working the giant circle. Amir Louis Charles now working his way in. He lost it. Somehow gets it back. Now Tajan Silva, 12 on the shot clock. Silva all the way to the rack, and it's good. Yeah, Silva's just a slashing forward. He could, he could do it all. He's a slashing forward. I like his, I like his playing game. I like his playing style in his game. Josiah Davis getting ready to come back in the game for the boxers with 2.10 left in the second quarter. Set the screen, Zach. Set the screen, Zach. King with it. Nowhere to go. Good defense put on by Dos Santos, and now a three, no good. And instead of following a shot in where he could have grabbed the rebound, Jeremiah King stood and looked at that shot like it was in the Museum of Fine Arts. <laughs> I call that the Steph Curry effect as Tajan Silva misses a three. Steph Curry... I mean, shooting somewhere around 50% from beyond the arc. That's really good. When yeah. you're shooting that percentage, wow, you can look at your own shot. That's unbelievable, honestly. Wow, 50% from beyond the arc. Yeah, many, many basketball experts already claim him the best shooter of all time, and I'll, I'll agree with that too. I think I believe he's the best shooter of all time. And, I, and I disagree. The best. Oh, who do you think then? I I still give the edge to Ray Allen. Ray Allen? At this okay, point. okay, okay, all right. But at this point. At this point, okay. Yeah. yeah, Stephen Curry just climbing on the three-point on the three-point leaderboard in threes, just climbing. Speaking of threes, Mark and Legentis just nailed one for the Bulldogs. Silva to the rack is good. 48 seconds left, 33-27, Brockton on top, nearing the end of the first half. People are saying James Harden could be considered the greatest shooter of all time. Whoa, I that? wholeheartedly Whoa. disagree. Whoa. People actually say he's I don't, I don't even think he's top five. He's not even top ten in my book, honestly. People are actually saying he's one of the best offensive players of all time already. No. <laughs> no. He, he's, lead, he's leading the league in points per game. I mean, but nah, I, I don't know about that. Best offensive players of all, one of the best of all, offensive players of all time. I'm not sure about that. But, Short jumper is good. But he's 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 in that discussion. I'll put him in that discussion a bit. I don't even think he's top five in the league right now. Oh, okay. Well, player or offensive player? I'd say both. Both? Okay. Dos Santos, oh, that's a travel that Dos Santos got away with as he hits the short jumper. We have reached the end of the first half. It's 35 to 29. A lot closer than expected, but Chris, what did you see in the first half, and what does Brockton have to do to pull away and put this one away? Yeah, what they have to pull away, I think I, I think we need to see some score from Trenton Biddle. I like Trenton Biddle's game. Todd Robinson, he's been a little, he was a little, they, they contained him. They, they, they knew his game. He was kind of shut down a bit. Noah Oluwu, I loved what I seen from him. Sonny Okunlola, Sonny Okunlola, the coach wasn't very happy. Maybe, I think, I think they should give it to him inside. Give it to him inside. And probably, they are going to double team him, so some shooters, shooting. So three-point shooting as well, that's something that's going to, they're going to, the boxes are going to need. At the end of the first half, it's 35-29. to 29, Brockton on top of the Holbrook Bulldogs in the Martin Luther King Day charity matchup. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. You can't sit Don't here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. Why are you talking to me? Lame. Loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment. And consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. <gasps> ah! Look at you. Oh. <laughs> 
Hi there. We're necking. How long did it take you to do your makeup? I'm Tyler Haynes. I'm Mamie Perez. And I'm Zachary Downer. And we're members of the cast of Cats on Broadway. Each year, between six and eight million cats and dogs will enter shelters and rescue groups, but only half will be adopted. That leaves millions of healthy and treatable pets who still need homes. Only 45% of cats and 36% of dogs in American homes come from shelters or rescue groups, which are full of wonderful family-friendly pets. The Shelter Pet Project and Cats on Broadway have joined forces to encourage you to consider shelter pet adoption first when looking for a new or legged friend. Whether you're looking for a quiet companion to relax with at the end of the day or a furry friend who's outgoing and ready to take center stage, there's a shelter pet out there who's perfect for you. Visit the shelterpetproject.org to find adorable, adoptable, curious cats and dogs near you today. Adopt a shelter or rescue pet today. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second, uh, excuse me, second half action between the Holbrook Bulldogs and the Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside Chris Bazile for the Martin Luther King Day matinee charity matchup. It's 37 now to 29, Brockton on top, and the name of the game for the Boxers is containing Jeremiah King who that. just hit a long two. That is the name of the game. He has the majority of the points, and they got to double team him. They got to they gotta do an array of defenders on him to confuse him and mess up his head a little bit, take him out psychologically. Dos Santos for three, no good. King called for the push. A bench warning given out to the Holbrook coaching staff. One of the perks of sitting courtside. I think the line that did it there, they don't need any help beating us. I mean, yeah, I mean, you just got to play the game. Tajan Silva, long game. three. The referee issuing a bench warning to the Holbrook coaching staff. Tajan Silva coming up with a steal over to Dos Santos. Crazy angle off the boards and I believe it was Robinson that grabbed the rebound and put it back up and in. You gotta, you gotta apply the pressure to him right now, right now, right now. Right now. Nice rebound by Okunlola. A good box out right there by Okunlola. I like that. Okunlola over to Tony Robinson. Rocking with their first double-digit lead of the day, 42-31. to 31. Robinson looking for Dos Santos, instead finds Silva. Silva driving baseline, too much on it. Over grabs the rebound. And here's Jeremiah King. Three from the corner, no good. Amir Louis Charles with the rebound. He scored the first six points of this game for the Boxers. Tajan Silva loses it, gets it over to Louis Charles now driving. Interesting motion on the layup. Uh, and it took a couple motion. spins around the rim. Yeah, Louis Charles, he's, he's a scorer. He loves to score whenever he gets the ball in his hands. That's, 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 his, that's his number one option whenever he has the ball in his hands. He loves to score. King one handing it over to Markin Legentis. Against us now to Rasai Banks Lee. His long two is good. Solid shot by Rasai Banks Lee. Exactly what his team needed. Tony Robinson with it now. Dos Santos, corner three. Bang. Forty-seven to thirty-three as the boxers start to pull away. King, three, no good. Offensive board to Oni before Tony Robinson comes up with a steal. Now Dos Santos, three, in and out. The station Silva was 150 feet away celebrating the main three. A bit too early to celebrate. Don't, don't do that yet. Uh, 
I'd understand a celebration like that if you're up by 30 points. Yeah, exactly. When you went in tied at halftime to a Division Five opponent who you should, when all is said and done, beat by 60 points. Exactly, yes. Don't showboat like that. Don't showboat, yes, exactly. 49 to 33, 424 to go in the third. The crazy stat of the day. Before we start talking about the NFL, we'll finish up the James Harden and how he's not an elite shooter or a team player for that matter. In two back-to-back -back games, I believe it was last week, James Harden scored 54 and 53 points respectively. 107 points in two games. Zero assists on those. That's, that's ridiculous. Not that's ridiculous. one member of the Houston Rockets assisted on any of those 107 points. That's ridiculous. Wow. That's I a little think, mind ball. I think Houston split them. I think they went one and one in those two games. I mean, I mean some of the other scorers on that team, Eric Gordon is a pretty good scorer. Um, Clint Capella, I like his game. He's, a, he's dominant in the inside. I mean... I mean, I'm just sick of the super teams. You're sick of the super teams? I, yeah. I could name the four teams in the, uh, I'll call it the divisional round of, of the NBA playoffs every year. It's, it's going to be the Lakers now, Golden State, OKC, and Houston. True. Yeah, the super teams. Um, should, we, should, we, um, should we um blame LeBron James for that? For the move to Miami, should we blame LeBron James for that? On I wouldn't the, say the, on the development of super teams in this era in the in the NBA. I would say it falls more on the commissioner's office. True. Because they they actually did good if you go way back, circle way back when Chris Paul was going to go to the Lakers. That was yeah. They they, they vetoed him going to the Lakers. And that was, As yeah. they should have. They should have, yeah. They said it was for the wrong reason. They said it was for salary cap circumvention or something like that. What they should have said is that will make the, the Lakers in the finals for the next 15 years without giving anyone else a shot. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. A hard foul hitting the floor is number 21, Jamil Clayton. As the boxers are now up by 16 points halfway through the third quarter. So can Lola's third personal foul. But I, I'd like to see more of that in professional sports. If you look at the NHL, which is the best at it, an eight seed can win the Stanley Cup, and have. The Los Angeles Kings came in as an eight seed a handful of years ago when they won the Stanley Cup, defeating so-called super teams. And then you look at the, the Vegas Golden Knights last year. Yeah, they were an expansion team last year. Expansion team, first season, weren't even supposed to make the playoffs. They make it all the way to the Stanley Cup and almost beat the Capitals, yeah. who are one of those super teams. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, I think you kind of nailed the pin on it a little bit. The NBA does have a problem with parity. Usually, it's usually the um, the bigger market teams that always win, and the teams with the stacked loads of talent that usually always wins. That's that's where the NHL and the NFL is good at that, where where the smaller market teams wins. And uh, I mean, forget about the Eastern Conference in the NBA. Yeah, it's Boston. Slash any team LeBron is on if he's in the East. Yeah. Yeah, Le yeah Le I mean, Toronto until the second round of the playoffs before they choke. There's nobody else. Exactly. I mean, yeah, LeBron James, whatever team he's going to go to, that's a guaranteed 45, at least 45 wins a year in a playoff berth. Yeah, just, yeah, the NBA is a little bit, does have a little bit of problem with parity and new, team, new teams winning. I mean, I believe the the Lakers, Celtics, and Bulls just combined for about half of the league's championship or so. 
Yeah, so. I would I would love to see the Bulls get back to relevancy. Oh, Chicago! Oh, Chicago's a great basketball city. We we would love to see the Chicago winning. They have a good they have a good team as well. They got a good they got a good um they have a um loads of good young talent with Zach Levine and um Wendell Carter Jr. and Laurie Marketing. I like those those guys look good. They I expect them I expect them to be frightening in the future. Two boxers didn't want to move to get that pass. Miscommunication. Man, you gotta, you gotta get your IQ. Gotta get the IQ in there a little bit. King hits a three, loses his footing, trying to get back on defense. Diamond Blakely, spin around floater, and what an acrobatic move that was. Nice move by Diamond Blakely, nice. Here's Jeremiah King. Three minutes to go in the third quarter, a rainbow three. This one's good from the corner for number 23, Rasai Banks Lee. Ten point ball game as Holbrook claws their way back into it. Robinson spinning, shooting, short jumper is good. Nice move by Robinson. Robinson played most of this game. He's been doing a good job. He's been very productive today. Losing it out of play, Brockton Ball. Marcus Spencer and Zach Duzon come in. Diamond Blakely bringing it up for the boxers. Over to Todd Robinson. Now to number 12, Josiah Davis. Davis fouled on the way up by Spencer. He'll be at the line for two. So the Patriots yesterday advancing to their ninth Super Bowl under Tom Brady, which is crazy. He's made the Super Bowl in half of the seasons he's played in. Wow, unbelievable. Tom Brady, he's, he's the GOAT. That's literally the GOAT. He does. The other phenomenal stat I came up with yesterday, we were, were joined at the viewing party by a Dallas Cowboys fan. The Patriots now have triple the amount of Super Bowl appearances since 1996 than the Dallas Cowboys have playoff wins. <laughs> that is true. The Dallas Cowboys, they haven't been quite relevant in this century, honestly. But they're America's team. The pa I think the Patriots are America's team, but I think the Dallas Cowboys The Patriots are America's team to hate. America's team to hate, yeah. People... The older generation of fans, they still love the Dallas Cowboys and what they meant in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I mean, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were really that popular back then in those days. But and It's all well fine, but they've won three playoff playoff. games since 1996. And they haven't been to a championship game since 95, so a little, yeah. And yet, somehow miraculously, Jason Garrett still has a job. Yeah. Jason Garrett is the Marvin Lewis of the NFC. Pro yeah, probably, probably, probably. Marvin Lewis in Cincinnati, 16 seasons, zero playoff wins. Zero. I'm surprised, I'm surprised he's been the coach of that long for Cincinnati. I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised. But the bigger issue I had with both games yesterday was the officiating, or lack thereof. Everybody's saying... The missed pass interference call cost the Saints the game. It wasn't just that call. There were a handful of missed face masks. There were penalties all over the place not being called. To the ref's credit, at least they were consistently bad. Missing calls for both teams. The Patriots, especially in the fourth quarter of the Patriots game, Gronk should have drawn... 
seven or eight pass interference penalties. Yeah, probably. Tell you the truth, I believe Gronkowski, he's, he's still the best tight end in football, honestly. So, I, I know a lot of people, that's, I mean, his numbers are were, were exceedingly down. But he's still the but best But the refs all season have been letting opponents assault him. Exactly. That's one of the reasons why his numbers reduced a bit. I mean. So it's back to where it all started. Patriots, Rams, albeit they were St. Louis the last time this happened. End of the third quarter, we will get you the official predictions. Here's Jeremiah King pivoting, gotta, getting it back. King. I like that. I like the double team. The call for the foul is Diamond Blakely, who wants to know what he did. Yeah, four fouls by both teams. Second, 14 fouls by both teams. Second personal on Diamond Blakely as King hits his first attempt. Two for two. Now King coming up with the steal. Oni throws it right back to Diamond Blakely. Blakely streaking, can't get it up quite high enough. And put back by Inabong Epke. Confident move by Inabong Epke, confident. We have up and in for Banks Lee. Making it a seven point game, 30 seconds to go in the quarter. FK all the way is good. Shot clock off. King, no good. Bulldogs get their own rebound and fouled on the way back. He's number 12. Marcus Spencer will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, it seems like the intensity picked up in this game a little bit. Both of these teams are rushing, to, rushing it a little bit, and Holbrook is looking a little bit more alive. I see more, I see more um, awareness from the other players. Brockton's expecting the full court press here. Tajan Silva will be at half court attempting to break that. Diamond Blakely now, five seconds to go in the quarter. Blakely long two, no good. As the buzzer sounds, we are at the third quarter break, 59 to 51, Brockton up, but Holbrook is hanging in. Yeah, Holbrook's hanging in. As I said, there's more, more, more awareness from the other players. Jeremiah King, we're not, we're not double teaming him. We're not double teaming him. He's really getting what he wants. Started off strong in the third quarter coming out of halftime with the boxers shutting him down for the most part and then something changed. Yeah, it, cha it changed big time. It changed big time towards the end of the quarter. They sort of, they sort of found their groove a little bit. And, and, but I like, but I like Inabong Engpe, those, those two baskets late. He looked, he looked pretty confident shots, pretty confident baskets. That's what the coach wants to see from him. So end of the third quarter, we revisit the Super Bowl conversation. Both number two seeds in their conferences, the Patriots and Rams. The Rams designated as the home team in this matchup. Who you got? Rams, Patriots. I'm going with my all right, my Super Bowl prediction. I'm going with the Patriots. 31 to 27 in a, in a, in a, in a, in a thrilling Super Bowl. 31 to 27. I think Tom Brady could. I think Tom Brady could expose the Rams defense a bit. Like, as, he, like he did in Kansas City. As much as I would like to see it be a blowout, I don't think that's going to be the case. Yeah, yeah. I would. I think it's going to be the same exact thing that happened 
way back in the days of yore when the Patriots had no Super Bowl wins in 2001, where it came down to Tom Brady with two minutes on the clock, driving all the way down the field and a game-winning field goal as time expires. Yeah, Bill Belichick knew what he saw in Tom Brady in that game and stuck with him. And in history says, in history says it for itself. Bill Belichick found the right, found the right guy, replacing him with Drew Bledsoe. I will take 27 to 24 Patriots. 27 24. That's good. That's a good game. Dentist getting around the entire boxer's defense to put that one home. We got the Tajan Silva breaking the press over to number 20 off the glass, and in is Trenton Biddle. A nice way to break the press if you're Brockton, but you gotta, but you gotta play, but you gotta play better defense than that, though. You gotta play better defense. Going shot for shot here. In the fourth quarter, 63 to 55, Ipke fouled on his way up. You know, Bong, Ipke, the 6'3 junior. on his first attempt, Dos Santos and Oluwu back in. Amir Louis Charles will replace Epke. So now we'll see a combination for the first time today. Amir Louis Charles and Diamond Blakely on the floor at the same time. Yeah, if you're Brockton, just have those other players beat you other than Jeremiah King. Have those other players beat you. You can live with that. King almost got a piece of... Wow. Uh, wow. Rather, Blakely almost got a piece of King's face. Instead, King does what King does. Converts the layup. Now it's Blakely. Blakely to the corner for Dos Santos. Dos Santos driving baseline, and his lamp is good. Yeah, Dos Santos is having a solid game so far. Scored a few baskets so far, in this, so far in this game. He's having a pretty decent afternoon so far. He's marking Legentis, five and a half to go in the fourth. Three for Legentis, no good. Tajan Silva with the rebound. Trying to get it to Dos Santos is successful. Too much on it on the layup. And it's a 10 point ball game with Holbrook trying to keep it close. And fouled is Banks Lee. The second personal on Oluwu. Uh, Tajan Silva will be replaced by Sonny Oak and Lola. Sixty-seven fifty-eight. The score brought it on top by nine. Five minutes to go. Dos Santos three is good. Nice shot. Nice shot by Dos Santos. Dos Santos thought about jumping the route. Coming up with the steal. King, three is good. Wow. Yeah. 
Okinola to Blakely. Called for the travel, but he didn't move. Wow. Timeout called by the Holbrook Bulldogs. The official number for Jeremiah King, 35 points. 35 points, wow. Out of the 61 that Holbrook has. More than more, more than half of this team's points, wow. It's that's an incredible performance. Exactly, yes. 70 to 61, your score just about halfway through this fourth quarter. Brockton on top. Trying to get back on their feet after being upset here on Friday night by the Bridgewater Random Trojans. They travel to BR eight days from now on January 29th. Now they're home against Durfee on February 1st, so a long break in between this game and the next one for the Boxers. A lot of time to clean up the things that we've seen unfold here in this game. Defense has to be top of the list. Yeah, their defense has to be top of the list. Um, defending, defending the other team's stars, as we see here in Jeremiah King, that's what they struggled in, and other, and other teams, and other teams as well. Let's see if they can fix that. And, all, and also, and also the, also the healing of Zenden Carrera and um, Mavon Reed. Hopefully, we can have them back by then. Let's see, let's see how they feel, how they rehab. Yeah, that's just a stupid statistic. King's got 35 points in a high school basketball game. Yeah, Jeremiah, yeah, Jeremiah King, he's a great basketball player, great basketball player. Blakely, no good. Oak and Lola tried to slap it home, missed, jump ball. It'll be a Holbrook basketball. Yeah, Brockton, yeah, Brockton they, they, should, they should be playing to win. 3.46 is a lot of time left. Yeah. And nine points is not a lot. Yeah. That's really only three possessions. Especially if you're as hot as Jeremiah King has been today from beyond the arc. Yes. Todd Robinson getting ready to come back in for Brockton. Tip called. Negating a backcourt violation and a foul. Committed by number 31, Olu. That's his third personal. And that puts Holbrook in a one on one bonus situation. Olu comes out in favor of Robinson. Yeah, Jeremiah King is actually a Brockton native. I played back. I played There's Dos Santos on the. Counted in one for Dos Santos. He came down, down hard. Yeah, Jeremiah King is actually, actually played basketball with him in Brockton. Pick a basketball game. Same way, same way you see here. Exactly the same way you see. On so my so on you my lost. <laughs> Every time. Um, um, yeah, you can say that, I guess. But, yeah, but great, a great basketball player. Great basketball player. His, his quickness is probably just what's bothersome to this Brockton team. I mean, I was expecting somewhere in the, the 20 point range. They just told me 35 points. Exactly. My jaw just dropped. Yes. King fakes the three, works his way inside. Oh, man. 
Blakely called for the hold. His third, pro his third personal. Coach Bob Bowen not happy with that call. Blakely up to Robinson. 11 point edge for the boxers. Dos Santos to Amir Louis Charles. His three, no good. Oak and Lola offensive board. And that's a clean block. She goes number 21 coming up with that one. Jamil Clayton. Two forty to go now in the fourth quarter. Eleven point edge for the boxers. Here's Legentis. Legentis long three in and out. Louis Charles with the rebound for the boxers. Louis Charles coast to coast is good. Nice decision by Louis Charles. Get back there on D though. Nice defense by Blakely. Here's King getting through three boxes, running into a fourth. Now oh. Legantis run into. Louis Charles called for the block. Next foul on the boxers will put Holbrook into a double bonus situation for the remainder of the game. Looking at this good on his first attempt. Steele and the pass with too much on it. Diamond Blakely gets out of the way of the oncoming freight train that was Marcus Spencer. And Louis Charles counting in one. Wow. Louis Charles is having a day for himself today. Louis Charles no good on his lone attempt. Yeah, Minute 34 to go. Yeah, Louis Charles has been very productive this entire afternoon. Great game, great game today. He's in the double digits, but it's more off the the shot that he's done, yes. grabbing rebounds. Yes. He had the first six points, and then there was a lengthy stretch, and that's a long two for Jeremiah King, his 37th point of the afternoon. Minute to go, Dos Santos, three, no good. Louis Charles grabs the rebound and he's brought down hard. The third foul on Jeremiah King puts Brockton in a one and one. Diamond Blakely comes out. Yeah, Diamond Blakely, he's had a he's had a great game today. Like, sort of, you could tell he you could see it in his face. He's a little he wasn't happy today, but he had a great game in my eyes. He played a great defense. He played the best defense he could on Jeremiah King. He hustled a bit as well. Good game. It's a tall task. Yeah. Ipke is gonna come back in. He will replace Sonny Oak and Lola. One oh two to go as the Holbrook Bulldogs try to pull off the upset here. And a three for Legentis brings them that much closer to that. It's a 10 point ball game, 51 seconds to go. Right, 
Kentis almost coming up with a steal, punching it. Robinson, three, no good. Dos Santos hit from behind. It'll be a Holbrook ball, and they immediately call a timeout. 79 to 69 with 38.3 seconds to go. In the fourth quarter of this one. Brockton pulled away. They had a 16-point lead at one point. But Holbrook never really seemed out of it. Yeah, they never really seemed out of it. They they did wrestle. They they they, they sort of wrestled their way back into it. And we got some Holbrook fans in the audience. They were they were cheering for the. They made the trip here. They they were cheering for the team. They had the audience behind their back. And I actually seen some sparks from other players actually that that really kept them in this game. Rasai Banksley had. He, 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 I believe he went to the lineup once and he had a couple of baskets late. Yeah, they they were so Holbrook kind of Holbrook the Division Five team. They're a little a little happy. A moral victory, if you could say. A little happy about what this about this afternoon. Yeah, as we said earlier, it should have been a blowout for Brockton because on paper, but Holbrook played tough. Here is Jeremiah King, 37 points on the afternoon for the senior, and add an assist to it. Yes. Seventy-nine, seventy-two, twenty-seven seconds to go. Dos Santos in for Robinson. Back to Dos Santos. Now it's Robinson. Nineteen to go. The shot clock's off. I would have already started fouling. You got two to give before it's a double bonus. It seems like they are going to foul. They're not going to Instead, foul. Robinson right to the rack, off the glass, and in. That will be the proverbial dagger. Jeremiah King, long three, off the mark. The buzzer sounds, and Brockton will call it escapes. Yeah, they escaped. As, as I just said, they escaped. It should have been a much larger margin of victory. 81-72, to 72, the final in this one. A nine-point edge for Brockton, who now have north of a week before their next game at Bridgewater Raynham. Chris, your final thoughts on the effort here today? Yeah, my, yeah, my final thoughts is um, just a little... Brockton looked a little. They they didn't they didn't they didn't know who Holbrook was early in the game. Then they jumped out to a big lead. Holbrook was fighting. Jeremiah King had a great af great afternoon. The defense on him wasn't wasn't the best. He just honest. He's just a, a, an outstanding offensive player. He did his thing. So but, we'll give the game Bro ball. But Brockton, but, but but Brockton, they got some they got some time to figure it out before they go to Bridgewater Rainham. Let's see what they do in that game. So we'll give the game ball, no question, on the Holbrook side, Jeremiah King. 37 points, handful of assists. You got to pick one boxer to give it to. Who, who's got it? Man, I will go with Marcinel Lewis Charles. Marcinel Lewis Charles. I like what I saw from him. 81 to 72, your final score. Brockton with a nine point edge over the Holbrook Bulldogs in the annual Martin Luther King Day charity game. For over here at Brockton Community Access Sports, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons, with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton, our broadcast partner, Chris Bazile. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.